The dad somehow knew it was time. His son was beginning to hang out with a wild bunch of boys. They were good kids, but they thought they were tough, that life couldn't touch them. They were out on the streets trying to find out where they belonged in the world. And so the father took his boy out to the forest where the river bends. It had always been a favorite spot of his, and he turned to his boy and looked him in the eye, and oh, that father was afraid. And he slid the high school ring off his own finger, and he held it in front of his son and said, I used to never wear this ring. It wasn't as nice or as expensive as the rings the other kids in my class had. I was ashamed. But your grandma and your grandpa bought this ring for me. It was the best they could afford. The dad choked up a little bit and looked out in the distance where the river bends. He looked at his boy again, this time fiercely, and he said, I was the first in our family to get all the way through high school. They were so proud of me. They couldn't afford it, but they bought me this ring. And now I want you to have it. It belongs to you now. And he took his son's hand in his and placed the ring solidly into his open palm. No more words were said. The man and the young man both knew something important had just happened. The son wasn't quite sure what it all meant. It didn't matter. Now he knew where he belonged.